The Carbonara becomes a limited in Roblox jailbreak in less than 24 hours. That is right. If you don't have the Carbonara right now, make sure you definitely buy because I think it's worth all. But today we're actually going to be comparing the Carbonara versus the Aperture. The Aperture is the closest vehicle that I can personally compare the Carbonara to. And we're actually going to be debating both their trading values and what aspects the Carbonara is also most similar to the Aperture as well. This is also on top of some interesting kind of things things I noticed while using the Aperture in the sense that it's actually better for some players, whereas the Carbonara is better in others. So to start off with, I should mention that the Aperture was actually about 99000 more expensive, so technically it is a little bit better in some aspects than the Carbonara, but that still doesn't actually summarize the entire story. From my understanding of the Aperture is its focus is actually acceleration, whereas the Carbonara is more on top speed. The Carbonara ends up having about 40 miles per hour more top speed and I have actually gotten it to hit 300 miles per hour in some instances and most consistently 280 miles per hour on average whereas the aperture I'm not getting that much top speed out of it I'm noticing more around 260 miles per hour 280 miles per hour but it actually makes up for that with the insane acceleration so if you care about acceleration the aperture is actually the superior car and let me explain why the vehicle I always Always used for grinding is actually the Volt bike and I don't think that changes at all I'm not gonna be probably using the aperture over the Volt bike if I'm grinding as a criminal but if you play as a cop the aperture comes in very useful with the extra acceleration the aperture quite literally accelerates in less than a second to 80 miles per hour and in fact it may be just about instant because as soon as I press the backwards or forwards key it's just instantly accelerating to that 80 miles per hour top speed and so this is where it starts bringing me into what kind of factors the aperture and carbonara are better at the criminals are always going to be trying to outrun the police and therefore i actually find that for general usage around the map criminals are going to want top speed this has always been the reason i actually end up using the volt bike but if i were to pick between these two cars i would personally go for the carbonara the carbonara is just more focused on top speed Speed, and in fact it's not so far off from the Parisian. So let's say you really like the Parisian but can't get it in train because it's about 3 million. Well the Carbonara is basically very similar to that. And on top of that if you want to see my last video I actually discussed comparing all three cars that are similar to the Carbonara. That including the Snake, Parisian and the Aperture that I am discussing right now. But in a lot of ways my findings with the Carbonara is that it's just better in top speed and it's probably close to the Parisian. But compared to the Parisian, the Aperture is actually being traded more often and therefore because it was actually tradable in August and it was first purchasable for around 899000 in early August, more people have the Aperture. And so there is a lot more to discuss here. The Aperture has one really cool gimmick that I like and it has this trailing tail effect. If you've actually seen in the gameplay here, I've been accelerating and slowing down and you're going to be noticing the trailing taillight effect, whereas the Carbonara does not actually have that. I know that is a little bit unfortunate that the Carbonara doesn't actually have a gimmick, but at the end of the day, if you actually like gimmicks, and I find the Aperture is a little bit better, the Aperture would have some nice to have features like that because of the slightly higher starting price when it was first released, but it was actually available for seven days compared to the Carbonara's five days. So therefore, that is actually the reason there's actually more Apertures than Carbonara's, but in a lot of ways, if you just want to rely on gimmicks and acceleration alone, the Aperture is very close up there and you can easily trade for it right now. I know 2.5 million sounds like a lot in trading, but that doesn't actually translate to in-game money. In-game money is something completely different and you probably already have 2.5 million if you have something like a Torero, an Agent, anything of that like, and that's likely what the Carbonara is also going to be end up fitting in. Now, between the ranges I discussed in a previous video where I was discussing the Carbonara, my prediction for it is it's going to be around 1.5 million to start at minimum as soon as it goes live in trading and it will probably go up to 3 million but as I've mentioned so far there are a little bit of downsides to this vehicle in the sense that I actually find the aperture a little bit more appealing just because of that insane acceleration and so now it comes down 
to some different kind of scenarios. If you still have not bought the Carbonara, well, you have basically around 12 hours or so to actually finish grinding for it because obviously it's going to become unlimited and then you're not going to be able to get in any other way besides actually trading for it. But hear me out. If you want a vehicle that has really good top speed, then the Carbonara is a no brainer. It's a very good starting car. It's just that that's kind of the contrast between these two vehicles. I hear people talking about the Carbonara and Aperture all the time and between the trading value, I wouldn't expect too many differences between them, but the aperture is way better in acceleration, whereas the Carbonara is better than that top speed. And so that is kind of the trade-offs that you get for using this vehicle. For power plant runs, I'm actually getting more value out of the Carbonara just because it actually is getting a little bit higher amounts more consistently. Whereas the aperture, it does actually have that acceleration buff, but then it kind of drops off at that higher top speed. And that's where I'm noticing the Carbonara kind of take over. So I really enjoyed both of these vehicles, but if you're a new player and you have the aperture, you don't necessarily need the Carbonara if you're actually already good with the aperture because if you like the aperture you probably like acceleration and the aperture is probably closest to literally the roadster except the aperture doesn't have that terrible reverse speed that that roadster has that's like one of the biggest disadvantages of the roadster now in fact if you use the roadster i would honestly just ditch it right now for an aperture or carbonara because you're going to be able to get a lot more out of these two more modern vehicles i felt that the roadster was last very practical around 2021 ish but then ever since the balancing of the game has shifted and we've seen some crazy supercars the volt bike got really interesting buffs and nerfs but in a lot of ways the roadster has kind of stayed the same so even though other vehicles may have had a lot of changes the roadster is pretty outdated it's exactly as it was left the last time i pretty much used it and so the aperture is really insane just for that acceleration so if you like the Roadster, definitely get yourself the Aperture. Whereas if you like using the Eclair, that's actually the closest vehicle I'd compare the Carbonara to. The Eclair is actually very similar to the Bagnet, and the Bagnet is very similar to the Carbonara from what I found. And of course, it also is very similar to the Javelin. So if you like the Javelin or Torpedo family of cars, then that's what the Carbonara is most similar to. They just have a little bit higher top speed. And if you can get a lot of use for that top speed, that's where I would actually end up using the Carbonara more often. Whereas the Aperture is honestly just a phenomenal car if you want to play as a cop because if you're doing pit maneuvers you're going to be wanting to use the aperture just because pit maneuvers aren't always consistent and sometimes you accidentally hit the other vehicle or it's really tough to explain this glitch but let's say you're using the carbonara you're going 200 miles per hour which took you about 15 ish to 20 -ish seconds to build up then you hit the car and you end up losing all that top speed, the aperture would immediately have that acceleration boost and you would be right behind that criminal again. Whereas with the Carbonara, it would take you another few seconds to actually build up that speed. And so that is actually where the acceleration on the aperture really comes in. And if I were to say the better car right now for police, it would immediately be aperture but it would actually be the Carbonara for the criminal team just because I find myself more often using the higher top speed on the Carbonara. And that also goes along with my findings for something like the around the world test. So that's where you go around the entire map with both cars. And well, no surprise here, the Aperture did win a little bit at the start, but then the Carbonara ended up catching up because the top speed of it is around 40 miles per hour higher. So that is exactly what I've been saying. If you prefer the torpedo line, and again, not all of you guys have torpedoes, but if you want to see what the torpedo line is like, that's actually where the Carbonara comes in and the Aperture is more like the Roadster. Or if you like the Volt bike like me, then you immediately fit in with the Aperture because the whole point of using the Volt bike is in fact the high acceleration. Like seriously, the Volt bike actually is beaten by the Aperture in acceleration. It's just that the Volt bike is a little bit more maneuverable. So here's actually the thing about the Volt bike. If you like the Volt bike, you obviously like it for the acceleration, but then it also has a very useful gimmick where it can actually fit in between the criminal base kind of um, bars that kind of drop down. So when you're entering the criminal base, there's obviously like these gates that close. And when using the Aperture or Carbonara, you wouldn't actually be able to fit in the criminal base with either or if you're a cop but if you're actually using the volt bike then you can easily fit in between the gate and then have basically no problem getting into all of the criminals spawn and whatnot so that's actually where i actually prefer using the volt bike and that is the only thing that i don't like about the aperture because the aperture just doesn't fit in that gate so if you're playing as a cop then the aperture is very good for pit maneuvers and that's something that the volt bike can actually end up doing but it is kind of what it is like there's obviously going to be trade-offs 
to some vehicles in a lot of sense if you're just going around the map and you're looking for vehicles that you want to pit maneuver the aperture is my favorite as a cop i've shown a lot of gameplay throughout the background of this video and you can make up your mind with that footage seeing for yourself that the aperture is crazy in its acceleration and speaking of that i've actually been playing as a cop very consistently here i didn't decide to play much as a criminal because i bet some of you guys were bored with all of the robberies but then the carbonara if i were playing more often on the criminal team that's actually the vehicle i would use because then the acceleration isn't necessarily as important because you're trying to actually outrun the cops with the top speed so that's actually where i found the advantages in the carbon era to be and so i hope that actually helps a lot of players understand the two perspectives of these vehicles now the value of the two aperture in carbon era the aperture starts around 2.5 million on jailbreak treating that net i think that's a very generous value i think that's honestly pretty fair in fact i actually don't know why the pars in stream million like i actually prefer the aperture more often than the parazon but then the parazon is actually more similar to the carbonara so again there might be some shifts in the values of these vehicles but at the time i'm making this video which is on december 26 2023 the aperture is about 2.5 million and that is basically the equivalent of a torero agent anything of that like and based on my findings it's about less than 12 hours before the carbonara ends up becoming an official limited but i've seen a lot of players reserving trades and whatnot and it's also about the same range so in a lot of ways the aperture is probably going to trade for a carbon era so if you've made it for this video and you realize you made a mistake and you realize you would actually make more use of the aperture just because you play as a cop which speaking of that the reason i actually play as a cop throughout this video it was actually because the criminal team just got like a huge nerf i just hate waiting for the robberies to open that's actually one of the reasons i just don't want to stream anymore because no one's gonna watch that either but at least you get to see me playing as a cop on a console so that's obviously great but that's that's actually why Aperture is my vehicle of choice, whereas the Carbonara is a close second if you're playing as a cop team. But back to where I was discussing the values, they are both going to be in about the same range. And I would be incredibly surprised if the Carbonara ends up actually being worth more than the Aperture. I don't, however, see that happening around the first month or so. The Carbonara is added to the game quite simply because I was able to buy it on like three accounts for 800,000. So if you want the cheapest of these cars right now, you have less than 24 hours to buy the carabinero for 800,000 and then no matter what you're always going to make back on your investment and hear me out if you want to see a longer video discussing the carabinero and what my predictions and first impressions on the vehicle were as far as the trading value goes then definitely check out my previous review on the carabinero I feel that the aperture has actually been thoroughly discussed I've talked about it before I've also been discussing the aperture a lot on the jailbreak trading.net discord but in a lot of ways I really like the aperture I actually think that the aperture is my vehicle of choice if i were starting this game but i understand that it is a limited now and not all players are going to be able to get it so that's exactly what you have to do now here's the plan just get yourself the carbonara even if you don't like the sound of it right now i've shown some gameplay of what you can expect with it and yes the acceleration is not quite as good as the aperture i personally find myself using the acceleration a lot or if you're playing let's say in the city or something then yes the acceleration does come better there so let's say you're playing more often in the rising city and you're doing bank jewelry museum that is where that acceleration is going to come in because you've got a lot of tight corners and you're going to end up drifting which ends up actually losing top speed and the carbonero would just completely get outperformed by the aperture there but if you're doing power plant runs all the time or you're going over to the crater city that is where i would actually say the carbonera is a bit better than the aperture just because of that top speed but anyways if you want the aperture i would say just get yourself the carbonera and then just trade for it about a month or two later obviously trading is a little bit slow i saw some comments the other day about people wanting like five million for the carbonera and my honest thoughts about that i don't think it's going to happen yes you might get overpays but if you want the carbonara pretty much everyone got it unless you were extremely lazy to grind which speaking of that i completely get it a lot of people are demotivated in jailbreak right now just because the criminal team got nerfed but on the other hand cops got buffed crazy and that also goes if you have the SWAT game pass because you're basically earning money as a cop just from staying still like you don't got to move to earn money overnight as a cop because you're getting the paychecks and if you have the SWAT game pass and vip 
480 per arrest is insane, especially considering you can just camp prison. Get yourself like a dozen arrests every minute. And the way I would do that is obviously with a helicopter, but you know, don't do that because that's going to frustrate a lot of players. The probably best way to grind right now is just to hop servers and farm bounties. A lot of criminals now, they just get like 20k bounties and stuff because the bounty limit was just really increased. Well, I shouldn't say increased. The amount of bounty you get is increased, but the limit for bounty was actually decreased. So it went from 50,000 bounty per player to 20,000, but you get that 20,000 bounty like three times faster. So that's my thoughts point on the cop team. And so preferably, I actually really like the aperture. I feel it was insanely fun to use playing as a cop. And that also goes for console. If you've seen my background gameplay here. Yes, I play on console. I bought myself a Series X for my living room and a Series S for my room. So I'm kind of alternating between the two consoles and I really enjoy playing jailbreak. It's actually very fun. So based on my perspectives, you're actually seeing some nice gameplay from those consoles and Aperture's handling is incredibly easy to use. And I just love that um, tail light effect. I like actually playing on a controller because driving the cars is very smooth. The rumble is also very nice. So it gives you a lot of feedback about what terrain the car is actually driving on. And that is on top of actually being able to control the speed more accurately. So on PC, when I played on PC all the time, I have about 4,000 hours on jailbreak on PC or something, probably even higher considering I played the game from 2017 to 2020 on like mobile. The one thing I didn't like about PC is when you click the W key, there was absolutely no pressure sensitivity. So it would always full throttle, whereas the controller actually has a trigger and you can actually like adjust the amount of top speed you need. So when making some turns around the city, I don't need that instant high throttle with the aperture. And so I only pulled the trigger down halfway and then the aperture only accelerates halfway, which is just enough needed to make the turn. Whereas on PC it would absolutely just skyrocket. So I really enjoy using the aperture just for that. It's really fun on a controller. The Carbonero on the other hand, yeah, I just didn't get that same feeling with it. It's still perfectly fine to drive on a controller, but that acceleration is just kind of the letdown of it, which by all means is not bad, but it's mostly like a Lamborghini. I know a lot of you guys own a Lamborghini and this is by no means saying the Carbonero is on par with the Lamborghini because it is absolutely not. If you own the Lamborghini, immediately get yourself the Carbonero because it's a huge advantage. So that's my thoughts on that. But it feels like a Lamborghini whereas the aperture feels like a completely futuristic vehicle like if you guys know the concept carbon air is actually very similar to it except carbon air has a lower top speed than the concept so Again, there's so many, so many factors that go into the aperture in Carbonara. It's impossible to summarize every single minuscule detail, but I feel I have discussed pretty much all you needed to know, and I showed a lot of gameplay in the background. So the gameplay alone took me forever to record. I really like the aperture. I really like the engine sound. I really like the taillight effect. And as far as the aperture goes in trading, you can get one easily just because there's so many of them circling. So that's actually why I wanted to do an aperture video comparing it to the carbon air because a lot of you guys in treating already have the aperture and if you really like the acceleration on the aperture then you have absolutely no reason to get yourself like carbon air so that is my kind of thoughts unless you want the carbon air as a very nice trading boost but i know that's not within the budget of all players some players they've only grinded like a million within a year or two and so it is generally quite expensive for them to afford a vehicle like this and so if you're that type of player and you're kind of not sure what else to do and you already have yourself an aperture then I don't really see the need to get yourself a Carbonara unless you're trying to get yourself a nice kickstart in trading. In that case, the Carbonara is easily going to make back your investments. So if you're a little bit nervous spending 800k on the Carbonara, I absolutely wouldn't be. You're never going to lose that money just because you're going to be able to get maybe double in a few months from now on in trading. But that being said, I think I thoroughly covered everything I thought between the Carbonara and Aperture. And if you have anything below the snake, then yes, the Carbonara is probably going to be better. But if you already have an Aperture, hey, you might not need the Carbonara and so I think that covers just about everything. You guys have about 24 hours from the time of making this video. I don't know how long it's going to process but it's probably going to release on December 26, 2023 and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate the support on these videos and if you like the video make sure to like but anyways guys happy holidays to all and I'll see you in the next video which spoilers alert we'll be seeing what players offer for the Carbonara. Have a great day.